get ready. Hello YouTube and welcome back to the next video. In this video, before we get creating the weapons, we're going to create a 2D image that will be displayed on the screen at the same time you select that weapon. As you can see, I've got Photoshop. If you can't afford a copy, get a crack copy and then buy it when you can. Get Photoshop and this is what will be something like this. But we're going to be making an assault rifle. This is the previous model that I've made, uh, image that I've made using a Spaz 12 shotgun. We're going to do a new image. So go open up Unreal. Open up your, we your weapon model, the mesh. Zoom in and see it looks like this. So it's centered on the screen. And there's no angle to it, if you know what I mean. It's centered on the screen and it's zoomed in as far as possible without it. Without it going off the edge of the screen so if we do if we do that that'll be fine come down a bit across a bit that'll be fine then press print screen on your keyboard which should be in above the top row of buttons above the arrow keys press print screen a few times you only need, you only really need to once. press print screen so you've got a copy or use any image edit software you want to grab a copy of the screen the screen then open up photoshop or if, if you don't want to crack a copy and you can't afford a copy then do the same process on GIMP which is free open source really good image editing software so when you created a new 1080p black image it's got to be pure black create the background then right click on background and go to dupl duplicate there click OK And leave it on there then paste in the image go to edit and paste as you can see we've got that then go to window click on navigator so you can use this sliders to zoom in and out we'll have it about so we can see the whole image quickly then click on edit come down to transform click on scale and we'll zoom in a bit until we get nicely on screen zoom out with the navigator so we'll zoom in then what you do and you centered it right click on this one and click on quick selection tool then click on the size put on say 10 or no yeah 15 put it on 15 between 10 and 15 or a little 16 there you go and then we'll drag this across and as you can see it gets here just pretty good but as you can see it's taking off the site here but don't worry about that just go all the way around it don't worry we can set this in a minute the bits that we're missing and then when you've got it all and some edges it's not grabbing hang on a minute hold the alt key and left click on the contours to make it select that edge that's the alt key then see that's going to add some space we don't want that so then be left click without pressing alt and drag it in again it's probably best when you when you're doing the um alt key have the size set on one that means you get real close so now you've got a rough selection you want to add set the bits that it's chopped out that it's chopped that little corner out so you hold down alt key go up on it come out and there you go this is a bit missing so we'll hold down the alt key there you go. Now we'll hold down the alt key and go and contour of the site. The site is now done. If we can go back, left click, hold the alt key and left click on the contours again. Then when you've got the model selected, press delete key. As you can see, there's still a bit of grey on our trigger. So we'll click on select, click deselect, then use it click in the scalp and it should highlight it, it's not perfect first, press delete then click on select again, click deselect the little gap is we click there and just up here a little bit more delete that and as you can see that's a pretty good 2D gun image but we're not finished quite there we're not finished quite yet right click on the layer go to blending options click on stroke 
I've already got the colour, set the colour to what you want, make sure it's on normal and to, on inside and set the size to whatever you want. This is optional if you want to do this. I just like putting a line around it of blue, turn it up to about three. After you've done that, click on inner glow, leave it to normal, leave, put the opacity on say something like 75% leave the noise alone, put it on softer and leave the rest as it is like that click OK and as you can see we've now got a really good 2D image that's got a glowing edge then what you want to do is click on the eye for this black background then you'll have a transparent layer so you won't have the, the gun image on the screen with a black masking around it then when you've got it click on file you want to export it as a PNG file on Photoshop thankfully under export you've got a quick export as PNG click on that save where you want to put it click on save and there you go you've now got we can close that down and we've now got the image it's called on title so let's give it a name you double click on it as you can see it's just a gun so until next time YouTube look after yourselves stay safe this is Bad Apple Gamer and I'm signing out Get ready.